Welcome to the Anxiety Coaches Podcast, a relaxing and informative show where we explore anxiety, panic, and PTSD, sharing how you can overcome them for life. Aloha, welcome back to the Anxiety Coaches Podcast. I'm your host and coach, Gina Ryan, and I am so happy to be with you again today as together we can consider the many ways to bring your mind and body back to its natural peace and calm. In today's episode, I'm talking about the benefits of meditation and prayer in everyday life. And I say it like that as in everyday life, because I want you to not feel like you have to have some special kind of prayer practice or special kind of meditation practice. I want you to be a little bit more relaxed about it because I really want you to have the benefits of this. If your routine every day is so busy and full of activities that it's causing you stress and agitation, it's time to insert some different activities or some different time, some change in what you're doing. You can't keep doing the same thing that's causing you stress and agitation and expect the stress and agitation to stop. We have to make a change. And we've all heard of the health risks associated with too much pressure, but how can you reduce that stress and find peace in your life? To achieve a sense of peace, you can turn to the gift of prayer and meditation. There are many benefits to meditation and prayer. So I want to go over those benefits first so that you might get a little more pumped up into why you should be doing this or what it can offer you, what the gifts are. First is stress reduction. Both prayer and meditation are excellent for reducing stress. You'll find that it helps you learn how to get away from life's worries to a more peaceful state of mind. People talk about doing large chunks of time, such as an hour, half hour, 15 minutes. And of course, those can make a huge difference by bringing peace and relaxation to your body and mind. Now, there's a bit of a learning curve in that you have to actually carve out the time. Might be stressful to do that. You have to actually sit and do it. Might be stressful in the beginning because it's new. You're learning something new. But I want to say you don't need that hour, half hour, or even 15 minute chunk. You can do a few minutes each day. And that can give you positive effects. This will bring you a way of, again, we talked last episode about getting off the gas pedal. Even if that's all you're doing for five minutes every day, consciously getting your foot off that gas pedal, whether it's staring out the window or having a little bit more of a meditative or prayer time, it's going to make a difference. It will reduce your stress. Secondly, you will have improved health. Many studies have proven that prayer and meditation foster vibrant health. Usually these health benefits, such as lower blood pressure and decreased risk of heart disease, occur because of the lowered stress levels. And you know in the last episode, episode 865, I talked about the vagus nerve. If you haven't listened to that, you can go back and listen to that as to how getting your foot off the gas pedal can really help you with your vagus nerve and with your heart rate variability. But we won't go over all that again today. But physical problems are often a symptom of turmoil on the inside. And prayer and meditation can help overcome that turmoil. The third point is better control over your thoughts. Now, by better control, I don't mean that you're controlling the thoughts, I guess a better way for me to state it would be better control over your reaction to your thoughts (laughs) because we know the thoughts come, but it is how we respond to them. Are we reacting and going chaotic with our thoughts or are we responding? 
Having negative thoughts from time to time is a part of being human. Many stressed people don't believe that they can control how they react to what they are thinking or to the thoughts that are coming through their mind. The stress mounts. Their tempers then flare, and before long, they might be having arguments or disagreements with people. However, by bringing in prayer and meditation, it's possible to get to a place where you are seeing your thoughts differently and you can learn to respond to them. And in that way, you are controlling your reaction to them. You are responding and you can stop the negative thinking spiraling out of control. You can see it for what it is. You can label it and you can let it go. And the more you do this, the more you are able to do it without a lot of time going by. Sometimes we don't catch our negative spiral for a while. Like we can really have, you know, gone off and had an argument or something. But other times when we have practiced for a long time, looking at our mind, being with it, befriending it, if you will, through meditation and prayer time and getting our foot off the gas pedal, we give ourselves a chance to see how the mind is. We give ourselves a chance to respond to it rather than a knee-jerk reaction. By bringing prayer meditation into your life, it's possible to be able to move beyond that knee-jerk reaction, and this can help you keep your peace of mind. Happiness is number four. Both peace of mind and happiness are real benefits of meditation and prayer. Everyone is seeking happiness in their lives. And when you're able to find peace of mind through prayer and meditation, you're also welcoming joy into your life. By spending some time in personal reflection, getting your foot off the gas pedal, tapping the brake, You'll gain greater wisdom of your mission in this life. You'll be better able to appreciate all that you've been given, both the good and the bad. Meditation and prayer help banish negative thoughts that threaten your peace of mind because you see them for what they are, simply thoughts. And number five, better concentration. As you use prayer and meditation, you welcome peace and tranquility into your mind, affecting how you live your life. When you alleviate the stresses in your lives, you're better able to concentrate on the essentials, such as your family or your work. Continued prayer and meditation will help you expand your focus to multiple areas in your life. Although prayer and meditation can provide peace in your life, it can be hard to make the time at first. Like I said earlier, that in itself might be a little stressful, but it is worth the effort and it's easier than you might think. Find a quiet place in your home and allow yourself to relax and feel at peace for five to 15 minutes a day. You deserve that time. You deserve that peace of mind each day. And while there are plenty of positive benefits of prayer and meditation, it may take practice and perseverance to achieve them, but you're worth it. Over time, you'll begin to experience this wonderful gift in your own life, and you'll be thankful that you did. I have some tips to get you started, but first I want to take a moment to thank today's sponsor, Ned. Think about the difference in attitude we have when we talk about having a routine versus having a ritual. I think you'll find like I do, having a ritual feels so much more meaningful. Whether using Ned's CBD, the stress blend, or the sleep blend, I want you to take a moment to get present, to slow down, and to use this time of Taking a NED product is an opportunity to be mindful, to think positive, and to take a deep breath. I want you to smile and think about what you are grateful for. 
I enjoy taking Ned's Mellow Magnesium formula as a beautiful ritual and a peaceful way to end the day. We don't just jump into bed and expect to fall asleep, but by getting present, being grateful, smiling, and enjoying the ritual of sipping on my lavender berry mellow from Ned, I know that I have set myself up for a beautiful night's rest. Become the best version of yourself and get 15% off Ned products with code ACP. That's H-E-L-L-O-N-E-D dot com slash ACP to get 15% off. Thank you, Ned, for sponsoring the show and offering our listeners a natural remedy for some of life's most common health issues. And today we want to thank Calm for sponsoring the show. I want to focus on you for a moment. How are you feeling? How are things going? If your answer was anything less than amazing, I want to help. Our partners at Calm have the tools you need to feel your best. Do you remember being tucked in bed with your favorite story or dozing off even before you got to the favorite part? With Calm Sleep Stories, you can pause your racing thoughts. You can relax your mind and enjoy the ease of drifting off to dreamland. We're partnering with Calm, the number one mental wellness app, to give you the tools that improve the way you feel. Reduce stress and anxiety through guided meditations, improve focus with curated music tracks, and rest and recharge with Calm's imaginative sleep stories. There's even a new daily movement session designed to relax your body and uplift your mind. If you go to calm.com slash ACP, you'll get a special offer of 40% off a Calm premium subscription, and new content is added every week. Over 100 million people around the world use Calm to take care of their minds. For listeners of the show, Calm is offering an exclusive offer of 40% off a Calm premium subscription at calm.com slash ACP. Go to calm.com slash ACP for 40% off unlimited access to Calm's entire library. That's calm.com slash ACP. Now let's look at some tips that we have here in order for you to enjoy the benefits of meditation and prayer in your everyday life. I don't want you to let the thought of meditating the quote right way to add to your stress. It could be praying the right way too. I mean, just look at it that way. You will have your own preference for prayer. You will have your own preference for meditation. That is perfect. It isn't black and white, right or wrong. You will find your way. So let that go. There's no perfection here. Next, you can practice on your own, or if you choose to, you can attend special meditation centers or group classes led by trained instructors. There are lots of things out there. And so I want you to do your homework and look and see what resonates with you. You might be surprised. Something that you had never looked into before might be of interest to you. Maybe you end up falling in love with Zen meditation, or perhaps you end up wanting to do transcendental meditation, or you may find a Christian prayer meditation that is exactly what makes your heart sing. Just find what feels good for you and know that you can do it with a special center or group classes led by trained instructors. Or you may find you do best by starting with one of the many apps that are available. And you can make meditation as formal or informal as you like. Listen to episode 309 for more on formal and informal meditations. For example, some people may start and end the day with an hour of meditation, but all you really need is a few minutes of quality time for meditation to get you started. If you end up someday at an hour, that would be awesome. But I don't want you to not try it and get it 
is a part of your everyday life because of a time constraint. I want you to start with your five minutes and we can build up from there. I promise you, you will want to. Always start small. Even the five minutes a day to create the habit will work wonders. Here are some ways you can practice meditation on your own whenever you choose. Breathe deeply. So this is just a technique you can take with you out into the world. It's good for beginners because breathing is a natural function. Focus all your attention on your breathing. Concentrate on feeling and listening as you inhale and exhale through your nostrils. Breathe deeply and slowly. And when your attention wanders, gently return your focus to your breathing. This is using the breath as an anchor. Another way is to scan your body. You can grab my body scan meditation by going to the anxietycoachespodcast.com website and clicking on the body scan tab. When you use this technique, you focus your attention on different parts of your body And you become aware of your body's various sensations, whether it's pain, tension, warmth, or relaxation. They're all welcome. You can combine body scanning with the breathing and imagine breathing heat or relaxing in and out of different parts of your body. There's so many ways we can go with all of this. Next, You can use a mantra or prayer. You can create your own mantra, whether it's religious or secular. Examples of religious mantras may include the Jesus prayer in the Christian tradition, the holy name of God in Judaism, or the Om mantra of Hinduism, Buddhism, or other Eastern religions. You can also find your own secular mantra. You can use the word peace you can find a short prayer that is special to your heart. Please find something that is meaningful to you and use it every time. Walking outside and meditating. Combining a walk with meditation is an efficient way and a tranquil way of moving, right? Of meditating and moving at the same time whether it be in a tranquil forest on the city sidewalk or at the mall. When you use this method, you can slow down your walking pace so that you can focus on the movement of your legs or your feet. But you don't have to slow down so much that it is being obvious what you are doing. But I want you to feel free to do this when you are walking to a destination. Pay attention to the movement of your legs and your feet. Don't focus on a particular destination. Concentrate on your legs and your feet. Repeating action words in your mind, such as lifting, moving, placing, as you lift each foot or move your leg forward and place your foot on the ground. And you can focus on the sights and sounds and smells around you. Those things I would like you to do in an area that you have carved out in your yard or your home where you are not going to a particular destination. You are not focused on a destination. You are just slowing down. Now you can slow down your walking to a very slow pace to actually feel the micro movements of lifting, moving, and placing each foot as your leg comes forward. And then you can focus on the sights, sounds, and smells around you. Then that's a lot of concentration, but it can be very, 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 I love walking meditation, very soothing and different, especially for people who do not feel comfortable sitting. So you can do it while you're going somewhere. Again, you're just slowing down and paying attention to your feet and legs, or you can get really focused and really slow it down when you're in the privacy of your home or yard and you have carved out a 50 paces or whatever, where you can just concentrate on lifting, moving, and placing. I think you will find this very, very relaxing. 
Engage in prayer is next. Prayer is the best known and most widely practiced example of meditation. Spoken and written prayers are found in most faith traditions. You can pray using your own words or read prayers that are written by others. You can find these online. You can look in bookstores. You can talk with your rabbi, your priest, your pastor, or your other spiritual leader for possible resources. And you can also be spiritually fed in this way. This is important for so many people, but they are not carving out the time to do this. So use your own words or use prayers that you have memorized. Maybe you can also do mantras. Maybe you can do prayer beads and mantras. This is also very, very relaxing and delicious spiritual food. You can read and reflect. Many people report that they benefit from reading poems or sacred texts and taking a few moments to quietly reflect on their meaning. You can also listen to sacred music, spoken words, or any music that you find relaxing or inspiring. You may want to write your reflections in a journal or discuss them with a friend or your spiritual leader. Focus your love and kindness finally. In this type of meditation, you can think of others with feelings of love, compassion, and kindness. This can help increase how connected you feel to others. So just to wind it up here, don't judge your meditation skills, which may only increase your stress. Meditation takes practice. Carving out meditation and prayer time is going to be a little bit of an extra push, a little stressful to get it rolling. But remember, for instance, that it's common for your mind to wander during meditation. And no matter how long you've been practicing, if you're meditating and your attention wanders, slowly return to the mantra, the prayer, the anchor, the sensation, or the movement that you are focusing on. That's all you have to do. Experiment, and you'll likely find out what types of meditation work best for you and what you enjoy doing. Adapt meditation to your needs at the moment. Remember, there's no right way or wrong way. What matters is that meditation helps you reduce your stress and feel better overall. I want you to know how much I appreciate you listening to the show. I so love being here with you. That's it for today's episode. And before I read today's quote, I want to remind you that if you want more than what's offered here and more personal guidance, you might be ready for our group coaching membership program. It's a deeper dive into what you learn here on these episodes. Each month, you'll receive two anxiety clearing skill sheets sent in email. You'll also receive two live group coaching calls, which are recorded in case you can't attend. Those will help guide you through your challenges. And there's also a secret Facebook group for coach and community support every day, all month long. So if you're ready for more, go to anxietycoachespodcast.com slash group dash coaching and join today. I'd love to see you in the group. And now for today's quote. Meditation is not a way of making the mind go quiet. It's a way of entering into the quiet that's already there, buried under the 50,000 thoughts the average person thinks every day. And that's from Deepak Chopra. I'll be back in a few more days with another podcast. Until then, be well and aloha. Thanks so much for joining us for today's episode of the Anxiety Coaches Podcast. Find more information at the anxietycoachespodcast.com.